Hi guys, it's Mark Zikri, Mr. Sci-Fi, also known as Mark Zikri of Space Command. And uh, I'm here in London on a very blustery day. I've been attending the Drama Summit and uh, meeting with TV executives, pitching Space Command and Magic Time based on my series of novels that was published by HarperCollins, a variety of other shows that, we, uh, that Elaine and I are doing. And it's been going great. It's been going great, but that is not what we are here to talk about. We are talking about today about The Shape of Water, Guillermo del Toro's amazing new film. And uh, many of you know that I wrote a book with Guillermo called Guillermo del Toro's Cabinet of Curiosities. And it was about Guillermo's notebooks, his life, his films, his amazing houses filled with amazing stuff. He has uh, one house for his family and two houses for his stuff here in Southern California, or in Southern California, many thousands of miles away. And, um, uh, and when we were working on the book, it was very clear uh, who, uh, who Guillermo's two favorite monsters were, because his house is filled with figures of Frankenstein and the creature from the ba Black Lagoon. And when uh, Guillermo was six years old, he saw the creature from the Black Lagoon, and there's an amazing sequence in which Julie Adams is swimming in, uh, in the Amazon, and the creature from the Black Lagoon is swimming underneath her in a, in a duet, and she's un totally unaware of its presence, and it's an amazing, amazing, beautiful sequence in 3D uh, with Rico Browning as the creature, just incredibly fluid and beautiful, and it's really, really a, a love dance to rival anything of Fred Astaire and Ginger Rogers, and just beautiful, I, I highly recommend you see that, and it's the high point of the movie, one of the great mom moments in cinema, and um, as a six-year-old, Guillermo assumed that the woman, the girl, would end up with the creature, and he was very disappointed when she didn't. So, um, so Shape of Water is essentially Guillermo's retelling of that story, where it is a love story between the creature and the woman, and uh, Sally Hawkins is brilliant as a uh, mute woman who is a cleaning lady at a facility that has the creature under experimentation, and she decides to, well, she falls in love with it, and the story goes from there. And Doug Jones plays the creature, and he's a spectacular. I wish that the Oscars would, would recognize creature performers for the brilliant talents that they are and award them their due. I think Doug should be nominated for an Oscar. I, I, I feel fairly certain Sally Hawkins will be. I feel fairly certain Guillermo will be, and deservedly. Uh, I saw the film at a screening uh, the other week, and Guillermo was there, and we talked. And then I emailed him afterwards. And the thing that really strikes me about The Shape of Water is that not only is it um, just a phenomenal film, Michael Shannon is great as the villain, there's many, many wonderful things in it, but also um, it explores something that Guillermo has not explored before. And I wanted to talk about that a little bit. Um, he's, uh, you know, Guillermo has a singular talent, he has made a, a body of films that are unlike anyone else's. And, uh, and yet, pre and, and the thing that really struck me when I was writing the book with him was how loving he was toward his wife, toward his family. They're not in the public eye, but he, he has a great quality of, um, of love and gentleness with them and just, it's, it, it's, it's evident whenever he's with them, with his family. And that quality of love I had not seen in his films. Uh, perhaps Kronos, the love between the grandfather and the granddaughter, is there, but, but love always has a tragic air in, uh, in Guillermo's films. Uh, but basically, the, the people who love each other, bad things happen to them. Uh, love does not protect you from evil. But, uh, but in Shape of Water, he's really exploring the nature of love and, and its redemptive powers and its healing powers and, uh, and the glory of being in love and the notion that love allows us to see each other for who we truly are. He spoke about this uh, when he was answering questions at the event the other night. And... Um, so, so it really, I think, it, it may well be my favorite of all of his films, and I, I just think it's, uh, it's spectacular. Michael, Michael Shannon, uh, Guillermo writes great villains, and then uh, Michael Shannon is another one of them, but, but truly the film bel belongs to Sally Hawkins and, uh, and Doug Jones. And uh, I'm, I'm very pleased in Space Command that we get to show Doug's amazing sensitive face because he's a hugely sensitive person. He has a great heart, and that comes through in, in, the, in the shape of water. So anyway, uh, it's just a short little, little, little video today, but I just wanted to share some of these thoughts with you and, and urge you to go see, see that film. It's a terrific film and deserves every accolade I'm sure it is going to get. And oh, the other thing that's interesting about it is that Guillermo is a... Um, a huge fan of Alfred Hitchcock. He wrote, he wrote a book about Hitchcock, and um, uh, when Hitchcock uh, did Psycho, he basically took his TV unit, the, uh, the crew that was shooting Alfred Hitchcock Presents, 
and uh, used it on the back lot to shoot um, Psycho for a very low budget. And Guillermo took that idea and did that with his, uh, his crew from The Strain. So while they were on hiatus, they shot Shape of Water for a much lower budget than normally he would ever work on uh, nowadays. Uh, movies like Pacific Rim, of course, are, you know, closing in on 200 million bucks. But um, Shape of Water was done for $19.5 million, which is really an amazing budget for that accomplished a film, that amb ambitious a film. It's said in the 60s, it really uh, speaks of that er era and the hopes and the darkness of that era. So, so that's it for now, Mr. Sci-Fi. Subscribe to the Mr. Sci-Fi channel. We have a Kickstarter campaign going for Space Command. If you want to see more of Doug Jones' amazing performance, uh, pledge at Space Command Redemption on Kickstarter. And that's it for now from London. <laughs> and we will talk to you very, very soon. Bye-bye.